Well, this is going to be an interesting video because I am coming home from visiting Carson City, Nevada, and this is a little road that takes me into what's known as Genoa, or Genoa, depending on how you pronounce it. Genoa was the first settlement in Nevada, uh, settled by the Mormons in 1851, and I'm actually looking at moving here, so let's see what it looks like. You're going to need to disregard that little bug splat on my screen. I uh, didn't notice it was there, so it's going to be in this video the whole way, unfortunately. As I come up to the intersection, uh, you'll see a nice little green park on the right. And there's a sort of a the replica of the Mormon fort or settlement. They were living here. It got burnt down sometime, and so they rebuilt it. There it is on the right. There's a, a nice little log cabin, and there's a museum. And this is the town center. This stoplight is the town, or stop sign is the town center. And if you look over here, these, this middle building is the town hall. So that's how big this little community is. It's just south of Carson City and just west of Minden. There is still a bit of snow up on the top of the mountains and when I get a little further into the video you'll actually see snow still on the side of the road and that's near Carson Pass. Now we're on Highway 88, and this is going to be a climb up to the top. Uh, we pass 89, which would take us into South Tahoe, as well as a few other places, and there's a lot of places to camp. There's hiking trailheads. Uh, it's a gorgeous part of the road, and it's like you just want to slow down and look at the beauty of it.
Valley. It's a favorite place to stop and have something to eat. I'm not sure if there's a gas station. I've actually never stopped there, but just up a little further on the right is the turnoff to 89, which takes you into South Tahoe. And if you follow 89 in the other direction, you can go over Monitor Pass and down into 395. And now I'm playing with the camera. Also, at the intersection of 88 and 89, there's a Pony Express trail marker, and we're now riding through what's known as Hope Valley. It's a really gorgeous area, but hey, they get a lot of snow in the wintertime. ride about five over the speed limit. I know it looks like I'm going faster, but I'm not a fast rider and I am waiting for the right time to pass this black car as it's going just about speed limit and I kind of want to go just a tiny bit faster. This is where I am going to take this corner to the left and I didn't see it coming. I mean all of a sudden this little deer was magically right in front of me. I stomped on the brakes as hard as I could and it flipped over on the left fender. Uh, you can see I'm about to hit it with the left front wheel and it took out um, the front grill, a plastic part of the grill, and it separated the fender. So, but I walked back to look and see if I could find the deer and I couldn't see any sign of it. Uh, so, I mean, I wouldn't know what to do if I did find it, but uh, that was the first experience for me, 45 years of riding motorcycles and that was a first.
I do try and get up here when there's more snow. About a month ago, I came through here and there was snow everywhere and the lake was still frozen over. And it's only been the last couple of weeks that I noticed that people were taking video of the ice melting. But as you can see, there just isn't any snow or ice anymore. And this is one of the really beautiful lakes because I try and stop. Uh, when I'm going up, going the other direction, I stop and get pictures because, I mean, it's gorgeous. It's just beautiful, and we're going over a dam here, so... And then I get stuck. There was a seemingly a box truck accident, so basically the traffic is going to slow down up ahead, and then all the way down the other side into Jackson, I'm behind slow traffic. Coming up on the right is the Kirkwood Inn and Saloon. Really nice place for lunch. And then on the left is opposite is Kirkwood Meadows, the entrance to Kirkwood Meadows. Coming up here, I think you'll see the left turn lane, but yeah, I'm still stuck behind some slow traffic. And when you've got a big tanker truck going up to Carson Pass, it's not going to be a fun ride, is it? But there's, it's, it, I just like to go a little faster, but uh, I'm not a racy. And of course, the police are out in force this weekend. It was Memorial Weekend, but there's the entrance to Kirkwood Meadows. Now I'm climbing the pass, and as you can see on the left, there is still some snow, albeit not much, but uh, the one thing that has been bothering me more and more is I'm becoming a bit more afraid of heights, and so when there's a sudden drop-off, I don't like it too much. This is a bit better, but there's still a bit of a drop-off. I have to be keeping my eye on that yellow line because if I, <laughs> I'm not sure what would happen if I looked to the right with, when you've got a drop off like that. It's becoming a bit more skittish for me. Well, we're almost at the end of the video. I had the camera on for two hours and it powered down. So this is the end. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.